Hello, my name is Cass Sinsley. I am the interactive producer here at Ideas. Uh, we worked uh, in conjunction with uh, regional workforce boards to create the uh, digital career expo that you see uh, on the screen uh, in front of you. Uh, so we worked with each region to create a unique version of that for, for, for them. Uh, so every region is different. <coughs> Uh, what you see in front of you is an example of uh, a home page that you would see uh, depending on which region you are in. Um, <clears throat> uh, they're all fundamentally the same, uh, but just so you know, you know, your content may look a little different than what you see here. But um, I'm uh, going to walk you through this so you can kind of get an idea of what to expect um, before you actually have uh, students go through this. Uh, and then just some sort of uh, important information for you to know uh, uh, as well. Uh, so on the home page, you, you know, you'll be given a link um, and uh, you can give that to the students and they'll go there. They can use any browser that they want. <coughs> um, uh, I'm assuming that most often than not, they'll have some sort of Chromebook or like an iPad. Um, so, you know, it'll probably be like Chrome or Safari, but the point is, is they can type in that, that URL and they'll be taken to this page. Uh, there is no login system uh, to, to make it uh, easy for, for them. Uh, we do use a caching system. Uh, so as they're going through this, it will actually save their progress so, uh, to, to the local browser cache. So um, the way that works is um, basically it's kind of like a, it's almost like a cookie. So as long as uh, they don't clear their browser history, uh, they'll be able to come back into the platform, let's say like the next day, or if they accidentally close the browser window, they can go back into it and they won't lose their progress um, until they do actually clear their browser cache. So, so in the instance that where you might have students sharing the same computer, perhaps, uh, you would need to clear your uh, that browser's uh, cache in order for each of them to have their own sort of uh, unique experience. Um, so uh, it'll so as we're going, you'll kind of see um, the different information that we're saving. Um, we're not saving any personal information, um, uh, but it will save you know like a gamification. We have a gamification that runs in the back end of this. Uh, that has points and things of that sort that they'll that they'll acquire as they're interacting. Um, so, again, on the home page, when they go to the URL, they type it in. They'll be brought to a page that's kind of like this, um, where they'll have uh, different sponsors up here at the top that you'll see as you go through the worlds. Um, each of them are are listed in uh, each of the different worlds. Um, you'll have a welcome video that welcomes them to the expo itself. Uh, so as an example, they can play that just like they would play a, you know, normal YouTube or Vimeo type of video. Uh, they'll have volume controls and, you know, uh, ability to do that. Um, they also will be guided by our little robot companion here down the bottom, um, who will uh, welcome them to the platform, um, give them some important information, and also uh, help them take their first step. Um, so they will go through a couple little screens here um, that will, uh, again, give them some background information on how the platform works. Um, so basically what we've done is we've taken the concept of the real world expo that you might have been a part of um, in the past, and we've brought that into the digital realm, and we've kind of wrapped a story around it. So basically what they are is they're, um, you know, they're basically on a ship that's exploring the different worlds um, that each have a unique industry with it. Uh, so we aesthetically uh, followed that story um, so, and then uh, named everything appropriately. So you'll see you have a research lab, a bridge of the ship, which is where we're at now, the research lab, the mission control, and the resource library. And these are basically just kind of like different levels on the ship, if you will. Um, the research lab, will be where they go to start exploring the different worlds. Um, the resource library here is sort of like non-world specific educational, sometimes educational, sometimes not, mostly educational resources 
such as you know um, links to local colleges or maybe programs that are non industry specific or you know things like financial literacy that kind of stuff might exist here depending on your region um, so you'll make sure to check this out as a, as a teacher to see if there's anything here that um, might be uh, worth them checking out uh, that you might want to take advantage of um, but like I said, the research lab, they can go here, and this is where they'll go to start exploring the different worlds. Um, you'll see um, up here at the top, you have uh, a name, um, a unique animation that's kind of playing over here for each of the worlds, and then a progress bar. And uh, like I was saying earlier, we have a gamification system that um, makes everything interactive. Um, so we have uh, like a point system, we have missions, we have achievements, and we have badges. Um, all of that is, uh, you'll have a set amount of missions and achievements that you can complete in every world. And as they're going through this, um, this progress bar will fill up. So let's say they go into the world and they come back out. Um, that progress bar will fill up and to reflect everything that they have just completed. If they completed everything, it will be completely filled up. So the idea is that at any given time, they could go through, see the different worlds, and see if they have or have not visited that world and what they've done, um, just at a quick glance. So let's take you into one of these worlds so I can kind of show you what to expect. So they'll just click explore once they're ready to explore one of the worlds. Every world is um, going to be visually different, obviously. So agriculture you see in front of you. Um, and then uh, if you look up in the top right hand corner, we have a notification system that I'll touch on here. Um, so everything that they come that they achieve or they do within the platform will be um, they'll have a notification that pops up. So let's say they're in points. If they completed a mission like I just did by just visiting the world, I completed a, a, a mission. Um, so it'll notify them up at the top. Um, we have created this in a way where they can kind of, it's very game-like in the sense that they can kind of forge their own path, do what they want to do to a degree. Um, we did set it up logically for them though um, so, uh, the idea is that if they go into one of the worlds, the first tab that they could click would be the Explorer. Um, so that'll bring up their iPad here that's in front of them. And this is what's going to be where all of the content, uh, is displayed in every world. Um, the Explore tab is meant to kind of introduce them to that world, give them some background information. Um, to see if they're actually interested in this world before they start diving deeper into it. So you'll see, like I, know, like I mentioned, um, the achievements and the missions that are available for this world are listed here. So you'll notice I completed one. It's signified by a check mark. Just by visiting the agriculture world, I, I completed that mission. Uh, 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 every world will have a five question assessment. Um, that they can uh, take. And what the assessment's meant to do is to kind of gauge their interests really um, within the world. Uh, everything is five questions. They have to answer all five questions and after, after they do, it'll give them sort of a, an output. So as an example, if I went through here and I selected yes, 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 no. Um, great, it's still a great fit. Um, it's more than 50%, which is what we base it on. Um, so as long as it's three or more, um, we're going to consider that, you know, yeah, it's a great fit for you. Um, we have a list for all of the different worlds. We'll have a list of foundational skills that relate to the questions that they just answered, right? So in the event that they do select no on a majority of them, we tell them why. Um, we're not saying it's not a good fit for them. Um, we're just going to make sure that we highlight the fact that they answered no to a majority of the questions and that the foundational skills down here below are important for a successful career within that industry. Um, so that's what the Explore tab is meant to do is to kind of gauge their interest. 
so I, I would definitely recommend them visiting that first. Um, everything in the in the platform is um, points driven, so everything to interact with will give them points. So as an example, um, I earned points and completed missions uh, for visiting the world, for taking the assessment, um, and uh, every video they watch, and um, you'll see in a couple other instances, we give points for, for those things as well. Um, so after they've started watching a video, um, after it finishes, they will be awarded points for those. So um, uh, if you want to have some sort of like little competition where you, you know, at the end of the thing, at the end of uh, the uh, end of the class, whoever had the most points, you know, gets a prize, you can do that. And I'll show you how you'll know that by at, towards the end of this. Um, but they'll get points for everything. Like I said, they'll get points for everything they've done for earning achievements, missions, um, earning badges, watching videos, things of that sort. Um, but let's say that they want to keep exploring one of these worlds after they've learned about it a bit. Every career, or sorry, every world will have a list of careers that they can learn about. Um, most of them will have some sort of overview video about the careers in general. Um, they will also have a list of specific careers uh, that they can learn about as well. So all of them will have a description, a salary range, um, usually a video that they can watch and earn points for. And they'll also, um, uh, we, what we've also done is we've taken real life tasks and we've broken them down um, and filed them under some sort of um, like foundational skill, like, uh, like teamwork, for example. Um, so uh, something to be aware of if you want to, if this career sounds interesting to you, is that it's teamwork driven. Uh, it has manual labor involved, um, hand tools, so you got to make sure that you like working with tools. So we introduce them with those uh, skills, um, these real world skills, or sorry, real world, real world tasks based on skills. Um, they can and they can do that. Uh, they can explore as many worlds or as many careers as they want. That's within the list here. Um, they also have employers that they can learn about. So these are employers within the region uh, that were within the agriculture world. So for example, here uh, we have a USDA one. Um, most of them will have you know PDFs or um, links to their websites uh, with descriptions. And this one has a video about a soil scientist um, that they could watch as well. Uh, so they'll have those employers that are there that they can learn about. Um, within the education tab, um, so you'll notice up here, I got a special badge um, for visiting all four um, of the sections within the world. So again, kind of going back to that gamification system, everything they interact with, we're kind of rewarding them for. Um, within the education pages though, you'll have various resources, depending on the world, you'll have various resources that they can learn about. Uh, for agriculture, for, as an example, they have different programs here. So one of is like, for example, Forestry Works, if they click that, um, they can learn about that program. Um, they can uh, view various pathways within um, agriculture. Um, and in some cases, these resources will link out and open up other browser windows uh, for them. So it's important to note that not all of these things are um, located or kept solely on the platform itself, such as like college uh, websites, things of that sort. Um, uh, so you'll have various educational um, uh, resources that they can learn about, they can take advantage of if they wanna take kind of their first step if they, you know, yeah, agriculture seems like a great fit, or this career is a really cool, you know, I really like this career, it sounds, it sounds fun. Um, the education resource is a good place for them to start in terms of taking that first step. So once they have, once they're done exploring the world, um, when they go to leave that world, we will prompt them with a, uh, an assessment. Um, they're all the same. 
they all ask the same questions, but they're just meant to kind of help them recall what they just learned um, and then give us, give you, more importantly as a teacher and, and the regional uh, boards, a little bit of insight on um, kind of what they learned and um, what they thought about it. Uh, so it always asks, you know, um, what's one career that sounded that was appealing to you? Um, one employer that you might want to learn more about? Um, more importantly, are you interested in pursuing a career in this world? Uh, that would be a yes or a no. And then um, usually a question that uh, has prompts them to tell us something that they learned. So uh, once they do that, they will update their mission log and then they can go back to the research lab. So you'll notice that the progress bar went up um, by me interacting with various content within the worlds. And then I can go on to do that same thing in other worlds, right? So they all follow that same format of career, or sorry, explorer careers, employers, and education. Um, so once they're done, you know, once they're done and you want them to submit a master of kind of a readout, what we have done is um, if they go to mission control, um, they will have, this is a screen that basically tracks gamification throughout the entire platform. So at any point in time, they could come here and they can see, for example, our, uh, in agriculture, I completed all the achievements. Um, it looks like I missed one of the missions, um, but I completed most, pretty much everything within that world. Um, and they can look at every world that they have um, that's within the platform and see what they have and have not done. Um, more importantly though, uh, it shows total points they've earned, total missions they've completed, total achievements, and then the badges they've earned. That's kind of the platform in a nutshell. Um, uh, I'm really look, looking forward to um, the students interacting with this and, and uh, really am eager to hear your feedback, their feedback um, as we grow this platform um, and make it even bigger and better for next year um, as a you know companion tool that really grows with them uh, along their journey and, and hopefully helps them um, uh, give helps you know become a valuable tool for them uh, with with their in their future. So. Um, uh, thank you so much and um, have fun.